Item number four, number 8120, sub. Chairman Handy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. 8120, subsidy by Chairman Keeble, uh, makes updates to the Energy Facility Siting Board, uh, increases the board from three to seven members for certain applications, and also has a number of additional requirements for larger energy facilities. Um, it would not be taking effect until January of 2019. Uh, I believe Chairman Keeble has a floor amendment at the proper time as well, Mr. Speaker. I move passage. Chairman Handy moves passage. That is seconded by Representative Newberry, Representative Natalillo, Representative Regenberg, Representative McEntee, Chairman Craven. Chairman Keeble, proceed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in support of this bill, which provides a more rigorous, comprehensive, and fair siting process that gives local communities the additional tools and input they need and deserve. Mr. Speaker, there are, are a couple technical amendments, and so at the appropriate time, I do have a floor amendment. Proceed. Okay, Mr. Speaker, I move LC005383-2. Chairman Keeble moves amendment LC005383-2. That is seconded by Representative Newberry, Chairman Handy. Representative Yuchi, uh, you're on the act, correct? Mr. Speaker, on abundance of caution, I'll be recusing on this matter. Thank Th you. Thank you, Representative Clerk. Please get Representative Yuchi a recusal form. On the amendment, there are no lights. Clerk, unlock the machine. All those in favor, please vote green. Those opposed, red. Clerk, clock the machine. 69 in favor, zero opposed. The amendment prevails. Back on the act. Lita Morgan. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you, Speaker. Turn it on. Lita Morgan. <laughs> Thank you, Speaker. Can, may I ask a question of the sponsor? You may. He will yield. Chairman Handy. Uh, the, the, the chairman will yield. Or would you... Doesn't Do you matter. have a preference because they both Chairman yielded. Handy is fine. All right. Um, it says that the, uh, the members of the board who are not state employees will receive compensation. What is the compensation? The compensation would be set by the chair, which is actually the chair of the Public Utilities Commission. Um, we're looking for reasonable compensation. They would set it based on that individual um, that siting effort. And that's, again, only going to be on these large 60 megawatt plus. The idea here is to make sure that somebody that's a citizen that's really spending a huge amount of volunteer time at least has some compensation, probably things like stipends for mileage and that sort of thing. So reasonable is a re relative term? It is. And that's why we, we designated the chair, as ma the chair of the PUC is making that, that designation as opposed to you or me. Okay, so the chairman of the PUC is going to set the compensation? Correct. Based upon a budget? Do they have a budget? Does this siting? And, and all that, the, 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 the funding for that will come from the applicant. So okay. the applicant's the one who's paying for all that, these component parts. Okay, thank you. Thank you, chairman. I mean, speaker. There are no other lights. Clerk, unlock the machine. All those in favor, please vote green. Those opposed, red. Right. Clerk, lock the machine. 69 in favor, zero opposed. The act prevails. Next item.